Moral to the story is what, what the fuck you do? I feel bad about this story. Some of y'all gonna judge me off that one, I think. <laughs> what more people in a relationship up in here? Clap if you're in a relationship and you cool. I'm telling you right now, being in transition is the most messed up stage you can be in if you're in a relationship. Stop it. Because it takes three months. It takes three months to find out if you got with that new chick and you done fucked up. That's three months too late. Ain't nothing in these streets, I'm telling you now. That's my public thing. Ain't nothing in these streets. Stay where you at. I'm a living witness. I'm finna tell you. Cause when you first meet somebody, everybody lying. She lying like a motherfucker. I ain't even number one. I can count the number of dudes I've been on with one hand. How many of your homegirls' hands you gonna use too, bitch, if they want? How many one hands you gonna use? I'm talking hard as hell, bitch. I beat like four or five niggas up, trip on me. I don't give a damn. All of a sudden, you land in the goddamn living room on the, on the divan. That's the country. <laughs> you on the divan, half naked, just, just like, yeah, I'm the nigga. I'm in her house, eat, drinking her baby Capri Suns and doing all kind of fire shit. I don't care. I'm butt naked, opening up her refrigerator, and just picking what juice I want. I want the green juice. I want that purple juice. All of a sudden, it's a dude outside get to beating on the door who really love her. And your ass is scared. I'm gonna tell you why you scared. Cause this nigga out there switching emotions. He don't know how to feel no more. He sad, then he mad. Then he mad, then he happy, then he sad one more time for good measure. He just beating on the motherfucking door just Making beats and shit. I ain't going nowhere. What the? I seen the pony at. It ain't mine, bitch. Did he get the ball? Sure. Conversation because he needed it at the time. 
So I put the little latch on the door. You know the little, the little chain? They still got them. I put the little chain on the door. As soon as I put the chain in the door, he put his foot in that hole and started scooching. And he put his face on that hole like, The nigga was breathing. Nigga, I go to jail right now, nigga. I ain't know what to do. I beat that nigga lip. He told me, ow! I said, bitch, you fucking with a gangster. Bite your shit off. I thought the dude was gone. He left and came back singing to this girl. Like three days straight. I'm talking about school nights. I thought we heard school nights. This nigga, he was turning his man. Like, the man like. Calm down. It was a great show. God bless. 
Before I even go any further, man, I just want to thank God for everything he did for me, man. My little boy, he probably at home, up, uh, he not asleep, waiting on me to get there, pop coming. But, um, standing ovation, first night uh, in the new improv. It's the first night, the first show that improv is, has built this building here right now. Standing ovation, I mean, God is good, man. Like, like big ups to my boy, Hearn, Hearn Choi for hitting me out with the dance moves on the Justin Bieber. First time we threw that out, but I have a funny feeling that's not gonna be the last time, baby. You know, stay true to myself, stay me, stay Eddie B. And, and everybody responded how they responded. But in the end, though, it was a great show. Um, like I say, I saw people just pop up. Everybody started standing up. That's the first standing ovation in the new improv, man. I feel good about it, God is good. Like I say, man, like, R.I.P. Mom, I love you, son, doing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm holding it down for you. Trail, you on that couch at the house. You know what I'm saying? After a while, I'm gonna have to put you to work though, boss, cause you're doing, you're killing me. You feel me? I'm trying to get up off this teacher salary uh, real soon, cause I can't stand kids. Uh, I'm about to go, uh, I'm about to go be a police officer soon, because they be chilling. But anyway, hey, big up to K5, man. Uh, Category five with I don't know who else to thank me. I thank God for everything, though. If I miss you, put me on the sick and shut in at your church and know that I'm sorry, though. But I mean, it's, it's a great feeling on that stage. It's my peace. That's my that's my place of relaxation on that stage. And when I get off stage, thank. Love y'all.